Hey lovely people, welcome back once again to another episode of Stitches Viz Collection. I miss Stitches. Today, let me share with you how to make this unique designed handmade beaded bag. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. Let's get started. Materials needed. So you cut your fish line, you make sure it's long enough, you cut it off, we are using 0.70 mm. You make sure you have the ends of the fish line, you pick 4 beads, fix on any side of the fish line, fix all 4 beads, and then you cross with the 4th bead using the other side of the fish line. You make sure you have the ends of the fish line so one side will be longer than the other. You pull it out and then you have your first ring done. Then you pick three beads, fix one on each fish line, fix one on the left fish line, fix one on the right fish line. And then you cross with the third bead using both fish lines. You still make sure you have the ends of the fish line, you pull it out, then you have your second ring done. Going on, you still pick 3 beads, fix one on each fish line, cross with the third bead using both fish lines, you pull it out, and then you have your third ring done. So you are going to move on with the same method so you get 17 rings in all. So we have 16 now and with the 17th part on this fish line, you fix 3 beads. Then with that same fish line where you fixed the bead, you go through this bead here, this bead. From the other end like this, then you pull it out. So you have a fish line this way. Then with this fish line, you go through these two beads, you go through one two three then with this other one you go through the next one bead so you have it like this so you skip this first bead and i'm going to be from here so on this fish line you fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line which is my right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead then you fix two beads on the left fish line Cross with the second bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. Fix two beads again on the left fish line. Cross with the second bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. And then you move on with the same method. So we have to skip a bit at the other end as well. So this time when you get here, you go through this bit here. So as I said earlier, you have to skip this bit. So on this fish line, you fix two beads. Then with that same fish line where you fix the bead, you go through this bit here like this. You pull it out from the other end. So you have it this way, then you pass your fish lines through to this bead here. Both fish lines should come out from this bead. You have it like this, then on this fish line, you fix three beads. Then you cross with the third bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. Then you fix two beads on the left fish line, cross with the second bead. Using the right fish line, you pull it out, then you go through the next bead here. So this time with the same method, you are going to weave to this end here. So remember, you are skipping the last bead on each end, so you end here. So you have it like this. That's what you should get after you are done. So you are going to continue weaving with the same method, leaving one bead at the end of each side so you skip the last bead from each end and then you start weaving from the last but one bead so you get a vein shape so 
so this is what you should get after you are done you should get a triangle shape as the end result so we are going to weave around it so with a new fish line you go through this first bead here then on this fish line you fix three beads then you cross with the third bead using the right fish line make sure you have the ends of the fish line you pull it out so one side will be longer than the other then with the right fish line you go through the next bead here then you fix two beads again on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead here you fix two beads again on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then you move on with the same method So as you can see we have the side nicely forming up and we are going to weave on with the same method to this end and I'm going to do that off camera. So this is what you should get after you are done. We have the side nicely formed up and I made the same thing offline the same size the same shape as you can see. And we are going to join it together to form the body of the bag or to make the body complete. So my fish line is long enough so I'm going to use the same thing to continue weaving. So on this fish line you fix one bead then with that same fish line where you fix the bead you go through the first bead on the other side of the bag you pull it out so you have the bead in the middle of both sides then you pick one bead and cross it both side of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead with the left fish line you go through the next bead then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out with the right fish line you go through the next bead with the left fish line you go through the next bead and then you pick one bead again you cross it both sides of the fish line and then you weave on with the same method. So as you can see you have the side nicely joining up and I'm going to continue weaving with the same method till you get to this end till you get to the last end here with the same method so that's what you should get after you are done we have the side nicely joined up and this is exactly what you should get if you are at this stage and we are going to weave a cover for the bag so i'm going to do the cover offline as well because i'm going to use the same method as we used for the mat for the cover and it's going to be in the same shape as the bag. So this is what I have for my cover. And on this side, I have one, two, three, four, five. On this side, then the shape of the bag comes here. So as you can see, the upper part of my cover has the same shape as the bag. So this I'm going to close it up. So one, you skip this side. And then from this side you fold it up so you have it like this then one two three you fold that side leaving the fourth one like this so that's how your cover should be as you can see the v-shape has taken the shape of the bag and i'm going to fix a handle for the bag here so with the new fish line we have 17 on the top here so you divide it into two leaving one in the middle 
you divide 17 into 2, you will be left with 1 in the middle or you can follow up from the base of the bag straight to the top like this and we are going to work around here. So with the new fish line, go through this bead here, you pull it out, then you pick 3 beads, fix 1 on each fish line, fix 1 on the right fish line, fix 1 on the left fish line, you cross with the third bead using both fish lines. You make sure the one side is no longer than the other you pull it out you have it like this then you pick another three beads again fix one on each fish line cross with the third bead pull it out so this is the same method as we started with so this is all we are doing for the handle of the bag we are going to weave the same thing about 15 times that is the length i want so you weave And this is what you should have so this is 14 and you need to make sure it's lying direct to each side they are going to attach it to this side so you fix one bead on each side of the fish line and then you are going to attach it to this side we are going to attach it to this bead so the right fish line will come out from the left side and then the left side will come out from the right side. And this is what you should have if you are done. This is how your fish lines should be. Now you have to pass your excess fish lines through the handle to make the handle very firm because the handle carries the weight of the bag. And this is what you should get after you are done. This is how you should have your handle standing. As you can see, my handle is very firm and beautiful. Going on, we are going to attach this magnetic lock, magnetic flip or button, depending on how you call it, at your place. And we are going to attach it right at this end here. And I have a video of how to attach it, so I'm going to drop that below so you can watch and follow up. And this is what you should get after you are done attaching your magnetic lock to the bag. So you just fold up this side again. And then you just close the side. And then you have your bag nicely made. So this is so beautiful and easy for you to do. So beautiful for your weddings and your engagements. You can make this bag in any color of your choice. Feel free to increase the size of the bag if you want it big. And trust me, this bag is so cute and easy to handle. Do all well to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more and more of my tutorials. Make sure to comment and share as well. Stay safe. See you in my next video. Have a nice day and bye.